All right. Well, hello. Um, it's pretty late where I'm at, but I really wanted to take part in one of the Lolita YouTuber challenges. And the latest one is the Lolita Lifelong Learning Collaboration. Um, I've got my computer in front of me, so if I'm looking off this way, that's why. Um, and it's just a series of questions, and I want to answer them so that I can make more YouTube videos, so I can build confidence, can make more content, because that would be really cool. And the first question is something I learned early on in this fashion, which I feel like could help could help everyone. Um, my number one tip uh, for something I learned early on was that it's good to have a pair of shoes that'll work with every dress you buy. Um, and I would say you need about three pairs of those shoes. Um, not need, but you know, it, it makes life a little easier if you've got um, the two staple colors that I got, which were cream and brown. And I already had Black Mary Janes just from, you know, I, I thought Black Mary Janes were cute and I paired them with uh, things other than Lolita beforehand. Um, most everything can be paired with cream, brown, or black, you know? It's, it's one of those things where they're neutral and they're really good to accessorize with. You know, it might be for your taste, it's a pure white rather than a cream, but I was, the cream was easier for me to find in my size. All right, so number two, the most valuable lesson I've learned in the fashion thus far, um, that there are people willing to help you if you help yourself first as best you can. So if you just make an honest stab at it, there's always someone who's gonna try and help you if you reach out for it and you look in the right places. Like you're not alone in this fashion. There's a lot of people who are really interested in the fashion as well and wanna help and they wanna be a resource, but you just gotta you know, make the first couple steps on your own. And um, it feels nice to be connected to a larger community. Like there's not a lot of things where it's like, oh, because I dress this way, there's just like a whole bunch of people, but like, uh, the goth community is the first thing that pops to mind. There's a quiet subculture, but like not as much. I would say that Lolita community is something special and it's really cool that we get to experience it in this day and age where there's community um, through online and then there's community through meetups and there's community through the larger whole, uh, rather than just all convention, you know? Got Nim in my room. I need to let her out one sec. Well, that worked out perfectly because we're on to the next question, question number three. Um, something that I'm still learning slash working on. Um, I would say to not block off new experiences. It's it's really one of those things where if you stay in a bubble and you stay in your teens and you don't ever go outside of them, it's really hard to break out of. As someone who's an introvert, for me, I know I have a comfort zone and the comfort zone is very small and it's taken a lot of concentrated effort um, of focusing on wanting to break out of those trends and wanting to have more friends and uh, be part of a larger community. And to allow yourself downtime when you get back and say, hey, I'm not going to meet for another couple weeks, you know? That's fine too. If that's what it takes, that's what it takes. And growing is a good thing and it doesn't have to be at anyone's pace but your own. All right, so number four, if there was a Lolita classes at school, I would take one in sewing. I would love to get more comfortable using a machine. I could save so much money if I could just make my own god dang wrist cuffs or if I could add a little bit of lace here and there. I have a sewing machine, but I just don't have the confidence to use it yet. I really wanna to go to one of those like in-person uh, sewing, learn how to sew tutorial classes where they just teach you everything about the sewing machine and then how do you do the basic stuff. But um, I think that would be a really great meet idea too if anyone would be interested in doing like a little group of five people that, you know, you get to learn how to use a sewing machine. I don't know. It just seems like something that's a larger skill that's been lost through time that used to be taught to everyone, but not that it needs to be valued, but if someone who's seeking it, um, it'd be nice to have more access to it. All right, so number five, someone I've learned a lot from in this fashion. Uh, I'm, I've learned a lot from a lot of people. Um, I'm gonna give us some shout outs at the end because honestly, I follow so many Lolita YouTubers and content creators, that's one of the, my like main sources of entertainment. When I'm not at work, I watch, you know, a lot of YouTubers, but um, the, the person that I've learned from a lot in this fashion is Lovely Lore. Um, big, big YouTuber, yes, but someone who picks themselves up when they make mistakes, tries not to hurt anyone's feelings, and makes room for growth and change, and you know, that's the best you can do. You, If you can be a pillar of, hey, it's okay to make mistakes, 
and grow and I'm trying not to hurt anyone. I think that's great that that's someone who's at the forefront of our community and it shows that, you know, we're not a toxic, you know, salty Lolita bunch. It's, I think that's like the most amazing thing. I try not to idolize people, I really do. I think we're all just people and we're all just trying our best, but I think that's great. Um, so number six, something I'm always happy to help, help others with, uh, giving a compliment. Like if you want someone to say, you look great today and you dress super cute and that looks great on you, I would love to be that person. I'm always happy to help others with that little boost. If you need that little boost today, I would like to be that for you, if I can. So, you know, tag me in things on Instagram and TikTok and all those spaces. And I would love to tell you you're wearing a cute ass outfit today. I really would. Um, number seven, if I could magically learn one Lolita skill, um, I would like to be magically knowing how to have that external armor when you go out in public. Yeah, I'm just an introvert. I, I have a job where I specifically have to talk to random strangers all day, every day, but it's a focused skill. It's a focused learning and it's a focus to say things to people you've never met and try and make connections. Um, but then also just to go out in strangers' public land where you can be ridiculed at the point of a finger or laughed behind a cell phone. Yeah, it's rough. Um, I wish I had the external armor magic Lolita spell. That's the one I wish I had. Um, number eight, something I learned thanks to Lolita fashion and that helps me in life in general. Um, that you can learn the rules and then weave around them. They're, there's usually a good reason why there's rules and there's usually a good reason why if you are seeking to change them or weave around them, that you can. Like, uh, you know, life is subjective. But learn the rules and then weave around them. You know, don't don't start weaving and bobbing and then say, and this is within the rules because I say so. You know, just know that the time and the place. Number nine, the dress or item that taught me something important about coordinating with Lolita fashion. Uh, <laughs> that <laughs> diner doll, <laughs> that red and pink is a superior colorway brand and no one can tell me otherwise. I don't think that's a controversial one, but I think I think it's okay to lean into things that you you enjoy, like whether it be hyper femme, you know, pink red, which I think is like because it just makes pink more pink if there's red, or if it's you know you enjoy black and gold and you like feeling like an aristocratic vampire. It's great that you can just lean into whatever you know gives you that aura, that feeling of oh what a vibe, you know, and I think that's great. Uh, number 10, one invaluable resource that I would recommend to every new or aspiring Lolita. Okay, so this is where I'm doing a little bit of a shout out. Um, YouTube. It is the most online learning platform resource that there's a zillion different voices. And it's so great that we get to experience all of them that put themselves out there, which is what I'm trying to do a little of. Obviously, there's Lovely Laura. She's a huge name in the title. Uh, name, name in the title. And then there's... Um, Gemma, I really like Gemma's content. She was easily one of the first people I learned about in Lolita. Um, and then I've got three other that I'm really big on right now, which are Kimbucha, uh, Dodo the Extinct, and Petite uh, Tomoyo Chan. And I really, there's so many other people I would love just to name, like list off a long list of names, but I wanted to keep it concise. So um, thank you so much for watching. And um, thanks for, uh, listening to me ramble. Hey, I was looking back at the footage. I look tired. I look really tired. Sorry about that. It's late. Hello, and welcome back to my channel. Um, my channel. <laughs>